Time for us to take about 30 seconds to look at the theory of the VTP password, and then we'll see it in action, including a real-world scenario that I definitely want to share with you. And the thing with the VTP domain password, it's going to be carried in the VTP advertisements that we've been discussing for the last couple of videos. We've seen them increment our CRNs, etc. And the thing is, the password has to be carried or will be carried in those VTP advertisements. So for that reason, if we choose to set a VTP domain password, we have to set it on every switch in our network. It's not something like right now in our three switch network we've been using and we'll continue to use in this video. You're not going to say, okay, I want a secure connection here between, you know, routers, excuse me, switches one and two, but not between two and three. You're not going to do that with VTP. You've got to make sure the password is on every single switch in the administrative domain. On top of that, I hate to tell you this, but, you know, it's, it's the deal. The password on the receiving switch has to match the password carried in the advertisement. I know, duh, because otherwise it really wouldn't be much of a password. But again, you got to watch that thing about putting the password on all the switches in the domain. And you're going to see exactly what I'm talking about during this lab. Now, during the break, we're still in the VTP domain CCNA. But uh, on top of that, I have removed some previous VLANs. And you can see right now we've got VLANs 1 through 600 to work with. And everybody's in the CCNA domain. Everybody's in uh, server mode. So everything is good there. And I will go ahead, though, and verify that because that's what I do. And you've got one through six right here on switch two. Over on switch three, you see the deal one through six, so all is well. Now, let's say that we start to set a VTP domain password of CCNA. I'm going to keep it the same as the domain name, even though in real-world networking, you likely wouldn't do that. I'm going to keep it there, and let's say after configuring one switch, I get called away. Something has happened, and I just got started here. And you get a little confirm setting device VTP password to CCNA, and now you get called away. And, you know, I don't know how long you get called away for. Maybe you got to go to another client site. But in the meantime, someone sits down, and they create a VLAN on switch one. And we'll just go with... First off, let's go with getting there. VLAN 700. So, all is well on switch one. And we see the VLAN 700 is there, so it's all good. I'm sure you see where this is going on switch two. We do not see VLAN 700 there. So let's run show VTP status. And the thing is, we really don't have any huge clues right here about what the problem is. Because if someone else sat here, it's like, well, okay, there's the operating mode of server, domain name CCNA, they're all in the same uh, thing, they're all in the same domain. If we run show interface trunk, we know the trunks are up, etc. So it looks to them like it's all good if they didn't notice that password. And we can go on over to switch three, but we know that if switch two doesn't know about VLAN 700, then switch three is not going to know about it either. So you come back now, but this is the interesting thing. It's not just that we have to set the passwords. We've got to make sure that our VLAN databases get synchronized and that switches two and three see VLAN 700. So let's set that password first and see what happens. So that was easy, and we set the password, and can we go to lunch? Well, no. <laughs> you knew that was leading up to something, right? VLAN 700 still isn't appearing on switches 2 and 3. What we've got to do here is force an update, because setting the VTP password by itself does not trigger a VTP advertisement. So what do we do here? We could really do a couple of different things. You know the two things that we did to set the CRN to zero on that switch a video or so back? Wasn't that long ago? You could do either one of those things. We could put this switch, either switch two or switch three, into a non-existent domain and then put it back in a domain that exists, you know, the one they're in, the CCNA. You'd want to do that on switch two. Uh, instead of doing that, though, to be as non-disruptive as possible, what I would do here is go to switch one, 
create a VLAN that you're not going to use and then you can just take it right off and you're forcing an update that way. I see this question pretty often online about, you know, hey, I did this password thing and now the VLANs aren't updating. And this is really all you need to do. And we'll call that VLAN 777. And if we go over to switch to, there's VLAN 777, but we also see the VLAN 700 that got left out in the password folder all. So let's go over to switch three, do a show VLAN just to make sure it's there. And we see them both right here, 700 and hello, 777. So now we want to get rid of the VLAN 777. And I'm just going to do a show on VLAN one as well. There we see it. And now all we have to do is no VLAN 777. And we'll just make sure that it's gone from all of our devices. And it's gone, but we also see the VLAN 700 remains as it should. So you have a couple of options there, but just be careful whenever you create or put on a VTP password, whenever you add one to your domain, you'll be fine as long as VLANs aren't created while you're doing it. But if they are, then you always want to go back and verify anyway and just make sure everybody is all synced up. And if they aren't, adding a VLAN you're not going to use and then taking it right back off forces an update and you're good to go. So everything looks good except this. <laughs> uh, you can see the VTP password by default pretty easily. And first off, I just ran show VTP password and there it is. Now this, there was an improvement as the VTP versions went up from one to two to three. And we're going to discuss that a little bit at the beginning of the very next video. And I'm going to show you one other place you can spot the VTP password, even if you lock this command up. And then we're going to talk about what we can do about that and see it in action. And that's all coming up next.